This video will provide a demonstration of the VA Financial Services Center Customer Self-Service Portal. Topics covered in this video will include portal navigation, knowledge management, case creation, cases view, and what happens next. Starting with the view in front of you, this is your dashboard screen. If we look at the header panel, you'll notice there's a search bar. The search bar allows you to search our knowledge articles. Moving to the left navigation pane, you'll see Dashboard and Cases. Again, the current view is your dashboard, but you can alternatively navigate to Cases by selecting this Case tab at any time. On the right navigation pane, you'll see Contact Payroll with the phone number, hours of operation, and address to reach payroll. In addition, we've provided links to other useful sites such as MyPay and Vaytas. You'll also see a link to our survey. We encourage you to provide us feedback on this survey in regards to the usability of the portal, especially as we look to enhance and put future enhancements into production for you. Moving into the center navigation pane, you'll see your name listed. This portal is using network authentication and we're retrieving information from the global address book, which is also being stored in our customer database. You'll see messages and alerts and my actionable cases, which are both hyperlinks you can expand. Messages and alerts is a way for payroll to send important information to our customers, such as VATAS system outages or other payroll urgent issues that we need to communicate. My actionable cases is functionality that's not yet in production, but will be in the new, near future. This section will allow the payroll support staff to return cases back to you that require updates or additional information or attachments. When the case is returned to you, you'll see an updated number listed, and then those cases will be listed in the displayed work list. Next, we'll view I Need Assistance With section. Under I Need Assistance With, you'll see several different case types listed that should cover the majority of payroll related inquiries, questions, or issues. You'll have the ability to expand through each of these case types to view related categories. In addition, you'll have knowledge content display for each case type. We'll provide you with the article title name, the rating, as well as the number of views. In order to view the knowledge content, you'll select the article that you're interested in, which will open in a separate window. You can review the information in that article, and we encourage you to provide feedback by rating the article with one, two, three, four, or five stars. In addition, you can also provide feedback. The feedback that you provide will be routed to our knowledge management application for our knowledge management administrators to update the case type category knowledge article that you provided feedback on. You can simply enter your comments and then select OK to send your feedback. We definitely appreciate any feedback you can give us in terms of ratings or the actual feedback comments. Again, as we look to make sure the information in the knowledge articles is useful for you. If the article doesn't solve your issue or answer your question, you can always submit a support request. Again, you'll have your high level case types listed and underneath you'll see the categories with the hyperlink. By selecting that hyperlink, you'll be able to create your case. The screen will redisplay, and you'll see requester information at the top. Again, this information is pulled from the global address book based on your network authentication. You'll see your case type and category based on what you selected on the prior screen. And then we'll ask you to select your role. Individual VA employee, timekeeper, supervisor, payroll office staff, or HR office staff. Please make sure you're selecting the role based on what you're submitting your support request for. For instance, you may be a VA employee, but you're also serving as a timekeeper. If your issue is related to timekeeping, a specific employee's time card can't be posted or validated, please select timekeeper for that particular case. If your issue is based on your own pay or issues with submitting um, information like a leave request, pl please select individual VA employee in that scenario. 
Once you've selected your role, you'll move to the station number. The station number is pre-populated, again, based on the initial registration in the customer database linked to your profile. You can always change this number. So if your station number has updated, you can delete the information that's there and then start typing in your new station number. As you type, we'll display a list of valid stations for you to select from. Once you've located your station and selected it, that information will update in our customer database after you submitted your case. Next, you'll see alternate phone number. The alternate phone number can be used in case you work in multiple locations and have a different number to be reached, or in case you notice that the phone number that came back from the global address book is inaccurate. Payroll is not able to update your um, phone number within the global address book, so if that number is incorrect, we do ask you to submit an IT support request to your local IT staff to get that number updated. But again, you can always provide an alternate phone number so you make sure that the payroll staff that's assigned to work with you can reach you at the right phone number. Next, we'll move into the requester notes section. You'll notice a message here in the box about personally identified information. Please do not include PII in your requester notes section. When your case is created, an email confirmation will be sent to you confirming the case information, and that email will include all the requester notes. So what we want to avoid is having notes that are in that email because that email is sent unencrypted. So please, again, make sure no PII is included in your requester notes. However, you can absolutely attach PII information in the attachment section because that information is secure and not sent in the confirmation email. In addition, in the requester notes, we ask that you put as much detail as possible so we're not left with questions when we get your support request. We want to jump on that request right away and work it as quickly as possible. Go ahead and select Add Attachment after you enter your requester notes if you have attachment information that you need to submit. Another window will open where you can select the file from your local computer. Once that file has been uploaded, you'll see it listed as a link. And then you have the ability to delete if you notice the file you uploaded is not the correct attachment. You can also rename the attachment. If you have additional files, you can continue to upload those attachments or you can simply select attach to attach that attachment to your case. Once you've verified that all the information has been entered or attached, you can select create. Once you select create, you'll see a confirmation screen with summary information about the case that you've just created, including the case ID, creation date, urgency, goal, and deadline. The goal and deadline information along with urgency is useful for the payroll staff to manage the incoming support requests and ensure that they can be responded to within a timely fashion. If the deadline has been reached and your case has not been addressed yet, that information is elevated to management so that we can take action to get that case moving forward for you. Once you're done reviewing the summary information, you can go ahead and select close, which brings you back to your dashboard screen. Now that you've submitted your case, you can always view the case status by selecting the cases in the left navigation pane. Once you view cases, you'll see recent cases tab, a my active cases tab, and an all my cases tab. Recent cases are cases that you've just submitted within the last 24 hours. My active cases will show you everything that's open and not yet resolved, including active, open, and pending. And all my cases will show all the cases regardless of status, whether it's open, active, pending, or resolved. In addition, we're displaying cases that might have been created by a payroll staff directly, either because of a phone call or an email. So you have a, the ability to view all of your cases and status in this screen. If you want to view a case, you can select the hyperlink for that case, and a new window will open with those case details. At first, you'll see the summary information, 
And then if you select audit, you'll be able to see the history and a case narrative, which includes any related attachments. Your payroll staff that's supporting you will be able to push attachments out to you on the self-service portal. If they do update your case with an attachment, you will receive an email confirming that an attachment has been uploaded to a case, instructing you to access the cases tab and view that attachment. Once you're done reviewing that case, you can select close, which will bring you back to the dashboard screen. Again, you can access cases at any time by selecting the ca cases link on your left navigation pane. What happens next? Once your case has been submitted, it'll route to an appropriate work basket based on that case type and category to be assigned to payroll staff to work. If any additional information is needed at this time, you'll receive either a phone call or an email for that information or to clarify your request. Again, in the future, we look forward to being able to return cases back and provide specific information about what is needed via the My Actionable Cases. If your support request is resolved, you'll receive an email confirming the resolution information, which can also be viewed in the Cases section. By viewing All My Cases, you can either select the icon to view the case or you can review the summary resolution information on the, on the screen in the All My Cases section. We look forward to supporting you. Uh, we look forward to future enhancements on self-service. Again, we definitely encourage you to provide feedback on the knowledge articles, either by rating those or using that feedback icon to give us comments, and definitely encourage you to fill out a survey. Let us know how the portal is working for you. We look forward to being able to support you, especially with some of the future enhancements that we look to push out to the portal for you. Again, you can call us. We have our hours of operation listed. Also encourage you to use MyPay for some of those activities that are available on MyPay. Um, or again, you can submit your requests via this self-service portal. Thank you so much for your time.